My name is Sean Jordan and I'm a postdoctoral research associate. I studied for my undergraduate degree in environmental science technology and then I went on to do my PhD in biogeochemistry here as well. I think the big one is the analytical skills that I gained. So you get a lot of hands-on laboratory experience in DCU, which I thought was great. I've worked in other uh, universities around the world and they're not always as well equipped or as kind of generous with their laboratory times. When it came to using different instruments, quite often I'd already worked with a similar version. It's really great skill to have for a research career. Before I kind of took up science to study in university, I wish I knew that research as a career existed because for me, I always thought that science was working in a lab, working in industry, and I went into environmental science because I love nature, the natural world, and chemistry as well. And I like that mixture that you get in environmental science. But it was only throughout my degree towards the end that I realized that actually research itself is a career and that you can go on further and pursue it. The biggest lesson I've learned from my career to date is probably that the natural world is uh, amazing, fascinating, we don't understand it properly, and that we're constantly learning more every year. And actually, by being a scientist, you can be at the cutting edge of that and investigating these questions and starting to understand things that no one has ever understood before. My undergraduate degree in environmental science and technology uh, led me on to First of all, my research project here in DCU, which was looking at um, chemical markers in marine sediments to trace paleoclimate, ancient climate conditions. Um, from there, I did my PhD also here in DCU with the same supervisor, working on very similar topics, um, but just at a higher level. And that led me then to postdoctoral research in UCL in London, uh, working on lipid biomarkers, which are uh, chemical markers from cell membranes, but looking at them as potential membranes at the origin of life, so membrane-forming molecules at the origin of life. In my research into the origin of life, what we do is we look at alkaline hydrothermal vent environments as a possible location for that origin. And we try to recreate those environmental conditions, and then using very simple chemicals that could have been uh, available at the origin of life, we try and make simple cell membranes. So all life today is cellular, and we want to see what would the first cell membranes have been like. And we're starting to discover that these were probably made from very simple molecules, but we're capable of doing all sorts of very interesting things, including dividing to give you a method of evolution, and also uh, operating some simple chemical reactions as a form of metabolism. For anyone who's thinking of coming to study or work at the School of Chemical Sciences here in DCU, I would say that the staff are great, the facilities are great, they're really world-class, what you can learn here from the people and also the hands-on experience you get is second to none. 